Back in 1987, I was on a little independent label in Nashville called Alpine Records, and um, we were uh, we were fortunate enough to just be in the right place, right time, and um, we enjoyed a little short little uh, my, my 15 minutes of fame, I guess you could call it. And, uh, had, had a little string of uh, top 40 uh, singles. This was the first one that uh, kind of kicked it off. And people have asked me over the years, you know, if you write this about anybody in sp in specifically, I think I've given several different stories of it, none of them were true. Uh, so tonight's true confession time. I made it up. I think at the time I was. I I must have had some kind of man crush on Dan Fogelberg or something. <laughs> and I was trying to, I was trying to channel him through, you know, whatever. <laughs> and you know, the big, big difference was Dan had a lot of talent, and, he, and all the girls loved him because he was a pretty boy. And I got the perfect face for radio. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> wrote the song, and it's just always been a special song because it was the first song that ever cracked the top forty. And, it, you know, for an independent artist at the time to, to do that made a lot of noise and, and uh, got me to a major label where they totally dismantled my career. Um, <laughs> oh, Lord. We can have a, a night of Nashville bashing if we ever <laughs> get a chance. It's a, it's a beautiful town and uh, it was a great place to be during the 80s. <laughs> Heart in two. 
so the night I'll just kiss the wind and send my sweet love. Yeah.